looking forward at your economic research, the grant that yeah. you're creating in conjunction with INET. Yeah. What are you trying to build? What's the, what's the yeah. objective? The fundamental aim is to build a monetary model of capitalism. Now that might sound bizarre to anybody who hasn't done economics, but because neoclassical theory has dominated model building and economics for the last 40, 50 years, and because neoclassical theory starts from the premise that the level of money doesn't matter, 99% of the uh, economic models out there don't have money in them. I think we have to build a monetary model from the ground up. So that's what I'm fundamentally building. And the framework I'm using starts from the work of the circuit school, the Monetary Circuit School of Europe, with the work of Augusto Graziani, made the ext extremely simple obligations. First of all, to have a monetary economy, you must be using a token as your monetary element, because if you're using a commodity like gold, it's really another version of barter. So a monetary economy fundamentally is using a token for money. Secondly, all transactions in a monetary economy are three-sided. There's a buyer, a seller, and a bank that records the transfer of money between the two parties that justifies the handing over the good in the opposite direction. So I've used that combined with the idea of double entry bookkeeping to build a simple accounting framework that actually generate the dynamics of endogenous money. And then I link that in with the production system. So I have a, a model coming out in GBO later on this year, I hope, Journal of Economic Behaviour and Organisation, that builds a combined monetary and physical model of the economy. And what I'm doing with your INET grant is developing a software package that is easily easy to, to, be, to use, it doesn't involve needing to know differential equations and mathematical programming languages like MathCAD and Mathematica, uh, that can be used both as a teaching tool but also as a development and research tool. So uh, engineers will be familiar with programs like Simulink, VizSim and so on. They are not feasible to use for what I'm doing because the tabular dynamics of a monetary system where you have double entry bookkeeping all over the place is very, very difficult to model in the, the flowchart framework they use. So what I'm building with your money is a combined tool that has the flowchart dynamics that lets you model the physical economy with a tabular system for modeling the financial flows. So you can have a, a, a GUI-based way of building a monetary model of capitalism, both for research purposes of my own, but also something first-year students can play with, and it's a lot sexier than a couple of intersecting supply and demand <laughs> curves. What's, what's the name of your blog? It's called Steve Keen's Debt Watch, and the uh, triple, the actual uh, EARL is www.debtdeflation, or one word, dot com, slash blogs. And I've also recently formed a group called the Centre for Economic Stability, and uh, the objective throughout is to get a realistic model of capitalism, because we are now seeing what happens if you have an ideologically useful but unrealistic vision of capitalism. You end up in a catastrophe like we're in now, and I think it's in everybody's interests to have a realistic version of how capitalism functions, even if it ends up being slightly critical of some things that happen under capitalism. It's better to know what pain you face than be in denial. That's right. We're in denial and we're in the iceberg at the same time. We look forward to the next vintage of your bottle and uh, all of your warnings and forecasts, and uh, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Rob. It's been great.